It's been a fortnight since they first attacked Riverstead. And they haven't stopped since. Hornwreath, Grimhold, they've all fallen to this force. It's only a matter of time before they make it to the stone gates. But where are they coming from? As the Order of the Fire Guard, we have the responsibility to find the source of this threat. They attack so sporadically without any respect or honour for the conduct of war. They're like men possessed with death himself. They leave a pathway of destruction in their wake, and they don't leave until everyone is dead. We've been able to track them this far. They always... <laughs> Who's there? Come on, show yourself! Who's there? I... You got some stone sneaking up on a dwarf? Face me like a man not caught it on a size! Those are such big words for such a small man. Just hear me a go and you can be on your way. Good fire. I could use a man of your particular talents. If it's gold you want, I've got plenty more than you could carry. You see, I'm in search of a band of marauders. They attack my village, murder my family, and they stole something from my people that holds great importance. Come with me, help me find these bastards, and I'll pay you 20 gold pieces. Half new, half when the job's done. You hear that? Who are you? What do you want? Easy the loss. But companion, I would only seek a shelter for the night. You heard your cries, man. What happened here? Are you alright, lass? Men. They attacked us at our home. I was knocked unconscious when I came to. She was dead. They killed her. How many were there? Where did they go? I'm not sure. It all happened so fast. Maybe two or three. Where did they go? I don't know. It's 
late. The sun will set soon. We need to make camp. We can resume our search in the morning. Do you have a place nearby? Can't you see she's stricken with grief? She was my sister. Not by blood, but by the oaths that we have made. Her name was Maywin. We were sent here to live on the edge of the White Woods by our order, the Sisterhood of Fireguard. We had heard of a great darkness growing within these woods, the likes of which this age has never known. It would seem that Merwin suffer the same fate as my people. These bandits have been destroying villages all across Karan. I watch my people burn. These men kill my family, and I mean to find them. I'm sorry if I came across as forceful before, but these men will pay for what they've done. And the longer I stay here, the further away they'll get. They they took something from our people. The Order of Gatherian. It holds great importance to me. I must get it back. Thank you both for your company. You're welcome to stay out here. But I'm going to turn in for the night. Will you be leaving to track down those men? I suppose so. Let me come with you. And why would we do a thing like that? I want to see these men brought to justice for what they have done. I want to ensure that Maewen is avenged. You'll just slow us down. Besides, he's not paying me enough to protect a young girl too. My order will pay you if you protect me. Let me come with you and ensure that these bandits get what they deserve. And I swear, you will be compensated. 20 gold pieces and you can tag along. Done. What are you playing at? The sun's risen. 
We should begin tracking them before they get too far ahead. turning against us, we should seek shelter for the night. No. I'm sure they're not far off. something of more value. This was hidden. You were sent for this. <coughs> you have no idea what's coming. Well, it seems that Merwin has a justice. More people have the arrow in stone. You alright, lass? Yes. Yes, I'll be fine. <gasps> well, you've done what I've asked of you. Suppose you'll be wanting the rest of your gold so you can be on your way. Don't think I've forgotten what you owe me, mage. You're all a bit of payoff as well. I gave you my word, Alwyn, and I intend to keep it. What about you, Drow? The people's honour has been restored, but... Where will you go with no home to return to? I don't know. I may not be able to see my family again. But at least now, I can know if they're at peace. 
What is this stone of yours, Jan? You called it Edelon stone. Edelon, that's Giltharian for wraith, is it not? Aye, Edelon. It's a phantom stone. My people have held this stone for centuries. It allows us to speak to our ancestors. All those who have gone to the hall of the slain before us. What? You mean you can speak to the dead? You don't believe in the afterlife. The dead are aware of nothing. Tell me more of this stone. Where does it get its power? Is it enchanted? The gods gave us this stone. It's like a portal between the two realms. Those on the other side can speak to us. And we can speak to them. Do you believe now? Our priests have always protected this talisman. Up until the night they were murdered. Those brigands snuck in under the cover of darkness. And they slaughtered our men. And our women. And our children while they slept. I hacked down as many of those bastards as my hammer could hit. And I've been hunting them down ever since. Those three were the last of them. I still don't understand why they killed everyone for this. It's precious, yes, but it's not worth the lives of an entire people. I might know the answer to that. I haven't been entirely honest with you both. I didn't come with you just to seek justice for Mabel. Those men stole something from us as well. The scroll. It was locked away, hidden. We were charged with its safekeeping. Somehow those men knew exactly where to find it. What kind of scroll? Necromantia. It is an art which has long been taboo in our order. This scroll allows one to summon the spirit of the deceased. Of course, it is just an apparition, but combined with the power of the Wraith Stone, it would allow a spirit to pass through to our world, taking bodily form. Why don't you just burn the scroll and be done with it? It cannot be burned. A necromantia scroll cannot be destroyed. Not by any mortal means, at least. Those men must have been planning to use both the scroll and the stone to bring someone back from the dead. What's of no matter now? They're both back in safekeeping where they belong. Whatever plan they had in mind, we've put an end to it. Have we? One of those brigands said something to me before he died, and I cannot shake it from my mind. He said we have no idea what is coming. As if our killing them meant nothing. He knew he was going to die, and still he laughed. I cannot help but think this is just the dawn of a greater darkness.